everyone to another episode of Sunday Supper with the Queen. I'm the Queen, Christina Green, your American Beauties Plus Queen Excellence. Tonight we're going to be making, I don't know, I guess I'm going to call it an Italian chicken. So if you remember on our last episode, we made spaghetti sauce. And I always have spaghetti sauce left over, so we're always trying to find other ways to use our spaghetti sauce. So we kind of came up with this dish. So what we've already done is brown our chicken on all sides. So I'm going to show you a little overhead cam shot of what that looked like now. Doesn't that look yummy? I know. Okay, so what we're going to do now, oh, this wasn't on. Oops. Well, it's still warm. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I just took, ah, uh, you know, just a tiny bit of warm water in this thing and then did about a half a palm of some chicken granules. And so what I'm trying to do now is just really deglaze this pan. So what I want to do is put a little bit of my squeezy garlic in here. You guys know how much I love squeezy garlic. And then just a little bit of some squeezy basil. Right. So about half of what I did for the garlic, I did with the basil. You know, there's really no measurements here. We just do what we want. So we're going to just kind of get this all going in the pan. And we're going to let this bloom. So what that means is that you're basically kind of starting to go ahead and cook your spices and letting those flavors just really come to life. Ooh, I smell it already. Ooh, that smells so good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add our little bit of chicken broth. Now, if you don't have the chicken granules, just use a little bit of chicken broth. Really, it's just enough to kind of coat the bottom of the pan here so that we can get all those delicious bits from when we cooked our chicken. Ooh, that's a little warm. Oh, yeah. So this is already kind of nice and thick here. Oh, it's delish. That looks delish. Okay. So I'm going to turn this all the way down to low. I'm going to go ahead and take our chicken pieces that we cooked earlier and put them back into the pan here. Kind of move these all around so that they get nice and coated with that garlic and basil mix that we just put in the bottom of the pan. Right, we can go ahead and turn this all the way off because now all we're doing is really just kind of flipping and tossing our chicken to make sure that it's fully coated and that deliciousness that we just put in there. Oh honey, I forgot all about my spaghetti sauce. Would you bring that over here? Okay, so <laughs> we put our chicken back into the skillet here and now what we're going to do Get our little ladle here. I'm gonna ladle about a spoonful, ladle full or so. And I'm just making sure that it coats all of my chicken pieces here. We don't want our chicken swimming in the sauce, we just want it really nice and coated in the sauce. That looks perfect. And so then we have some ham. Now we have a little bit of leftover. That's my oven saying that it's preheated to 350. I don't know if I told you already, but make sure your oven is preheated to 350. And then we have some ham here. This is probably a cup, maybe just a little bit over a cup. And we use some lunch meat ham that we have. So good. But you can use anything. We also had um, already diced up little hunks of ham that we like to use in some other chicken pasta dishes. So we're just going to put all of that ham right on top of it, our chicken, and then here we have some cheese mix. Now, the original recipe that I kind of basted, based, based my recipe off of called for mozzarella. I didn't have any mozzarella, but I did have a Swiss and white cheddar and slices at that. So not even grated or a block where I could grate it. But what we did was we just kind of stacked the slices of cheese on top of each other and then cut them really small. So I'm going to take, ooh, that's a lot of cheese. I'm just going to put it all over the top here. I really wasn't sure if I was going to use all of this cheese, but hey, why the heck not, right? So good. Okay. Lots of cheese on top. All right. I want you to see what this looks like. We turned our overhead cam off, so I have to show you. 
Bethany, maybe you can help zoom in on this a little. All right, I know that looks delicious, doesn't it? I know. All right, so now what we're going to do is put this into our oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes, but really keep an eye on it because what you're looking for is for all of this cheese to be brown, uh, sorry, melted, and then everything to kind of be brown and bubbly and just really delicious looking. And then you're going to take it out and your food is ready to go. So we will see you here, back here about 20 minutes or so for our final product. All right, see you soon. Welcome back everyone. So we have taken our pan out of the oven and I have plated it with a little bit of green weenie noodles. And then back on the stove, I have some uh, baked meat, and not sorry, baked meat, green beans cooking. They're not quite ready yet, but I'm super hungry and I wanted to show you how delicious this is. So I'm sure you can see here, we've got our linguine noodles, we've got our little piece of chicken, our sauce, the ham, the cheese, everything. This looks amazing. All right, well, I'm ready to eat. Super hungry. Oh yeah, this chicken is nice. Nice and tender. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of noodle, a little bit of tomato, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of ham, chicken, everything. It looks really hot, but it looks really good. flavor to the chicken because I know we have all those flavors in the spaghetti sauce but since we didn't cook the chicken necessarily in the spaghetti sauce it was already ground in the pan with us putting it in that extra sauce that we made really gives a lot of flavor to the chicken so I, I really enjoy that I'm, I'm really happy that we added that extra step in because the recipe that I kind of based this recipe off of didn't call for us to do any of that so I'm really happy that we did So good. I'm doing my happy food dance. Happy food dance. Okay, ready. I'm gonna go finish eating the rest of this. I'm gonna pour my beans off the stove and get my grub on. Yeah, this is legit. Some really delicious chicken pasta. Are oh, you getting another little extreme shot here? It's just so good. I know you guys are really going to enjoy it. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for this episode of Sunday Supper with the Queen. And we will see you again here next Sunday at 6 p.m. for the next episode. All right. Oh, and before we go, if you have anything that you want to see me cook, please drop me a line. Message me. Put it on a comment on one of my videos. Just let me know what you want to see me make. It could even be something that I haven't made before, but I've been dying to try. So we'll learn together. Okay? All right, everybody. Well, we'll see you here next week. Bye.